And listen, ladies, we got to talk about another queen. Part two of Janet Jackson's documentary aired oh, over yes. the weekend. And she dropped the bombshell about her split from Jermaine Dupri. Janet reveals that Jermaine was unfaithful and Black Twitter had a whole lot to say. One yep. Twitter user wrote, Jermaine Dupri had Janet Jackson wanting to marry his little Smurf self and was still willing to give him multiple babies. <laughs> and he blew it by cheating on her. That's not my word. I didn't call him a Smurf. That's y'all people on Twitter being messy. Uh-huh. Another wrote, uh, user wrote, how do you fumble a woman like Janet Jackson? How do you cheat on the baddest? Now, Queens, if it happened to Beyonce, if it happened to anyone, it could happen to anyone. And, and do you think fans are shocked <laughs> that one of the biggest entertainers in the world got cheated on? I mean, doesn't this happen a lot? Yeah, it I, does happen a lot. I, mean, yeah, I think the best part of it was that Jermaine was like, yo, I was reckless, you know? But he was like, you know, what happens is that, you know, all of a sudden I'm dating Janet Jackson and now a whole bunch of uh, other bad chicks is trying to come over here and hit on me. He that he didn't have options like that before. You know what I mean? So, you know, he, he was like the flesh is weak. And in the meantime, I lost the baddest. But that kills me, though, because when you have one, because, hey, I will just be honest. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? Meaning someone fumbled the ball with me and it was almost like, what else do you want? You know, what I mean, if somebody is giving you the best of them, what else can you want? She cooks, she cleans, she's organized, she's smart, she's intelligent, she's fine. She can be a partner for you. The, the, the P-U-S-S-Y is good. Come on. Yeah. You know what I mean? What else do you want? And then they fumble the ball and you're like, you don't even know how to date me. You don't even know how to keep me engaged. You don't know even know how funny. to keep me exciting. Excited. I, and it's like, so who and which one of these chicks was better than Janet Jackson, better than me? Who? Which no. one? You don't even know them. So at least well, you know what I bring to the table. You don't even know what they get. They don't even, you don't even know if they have a table. These guys get their first, uh, their first bad girl. I'm not saying that she's his first one, but they, they get a girl that level, and then they think, well, if I got her, imagine the possibilities. And then they just wild out. Selena, what do you think about this story? Mm-mm-mm. Um, well, for me, you know, you know, just even piggybacking off, piggybacking off of what Vivica said, it's it was the whole Jermaine Dupri demeanor for me. It was the laughter with the, <laughs> you know how it is, <laughs> you know, and then, you know, then you just become a man, <laughs> you know, you a man. And then, you know, you got Janet Jackson and everybody, it's the laughter. And then it's the flip, 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 flip back to Janet. And she's very calm and solemn. You know, you could tell it was a, a hurtful time for her. And he's sitting there like, <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. We meant no, right. no, sir. You're extremely crazy. And that was very disheartening to see him laugh like that. And you know what, Lisa Ray? You know, that was a nervous was, energy laugh. It was trash. And I wish he wouldn't have did that on such a, a, a prime time documentary, docu-series that we, you know, everybody going to be looking at. I wish you would have really, had a little bit of a uh, coof. And remorse. Say, remorse. Let me, remorse. Come on. Come on, somebody. And, mm-hmm. and so when Lisa Ray says, you know, what more could you want? I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. Well, Lisa Ray, it ain't my, it, it's not what more do they want. It's what they don't know that they have. Yeah, you know, it's, it's that part. Hey. And, and most of it is, I don't love myself enough to be able to even accept the fact that I could have a woman this great. Or they and don't so know how. My knee jerk, exactly. So my knee jerk reaction is to be stupid because I don't know how to be smart in this moment. You know what I'm saying? That that sh- that shit there, that laughing, <laughs> I, it just took me to a special place. I was like, "This old, come on, JD, like you my dude, like why why would you do that on like I can see if you laughed with your friends later, right. like yeah, man, you know how me and I we stupid, but you know, but you laughed it off like it wasn't this prime time relationship that we weren't all rooting for like I know I was I, I thought they were real cute and I wanted them to make it and all of that you know so I just I didn't I was a it was upsetting for me I and extra know. insulting because you admitted you got the extra ass because you was with Janet and a lot I tell guys all the time a lot of times it right. don't even be about you they want to take that bad chick's man yeah. oh I, I yeah. got Lisa Ray's man I got Vivica's man I got Selena's man they like that nonsense but I and love Janet Jackson's transparency. I mean, she's yes. normally extremely guarded. Um, I loved how transparent she was. I love some interviews. She was like, 
I'm not doing lashes. I'm not doing a whole ton of makeup. Y'all going to get me real and raw. Well, it was refreshing. It really was. I, I love, love that. that. Yeah. Well, ladies, I want to thank you all for a fantastic job as yeah. usual. And for your transparency tonight. It was beautiful. It really was. I want to thank Lisa Ray, Selena Johnson, and Vivica A. Fox. And of course, our special guest, Dr. Bernice King, for joining yeah. us tonight.